Hi there. Uh, this is Alex Tavares, um, Interactive Media Administrator here at the Valley Region. I'm going to show you how to create an interactive uh, map. Uh, it's not going to be this one that you see right here uh, for the blocks. Um, this is the uh, map block and that's 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 done by uh, using the keyword uh, mappable um, and also you know adding in your your article assets one by one which is like let's say for this one and this one and then another one and another one um, it's just uh, time consuming especially if uh, like for me that I wanted to add in all our um, all our rack locations that way people know um, where they're located um, so this one right here is just finding the valley uh, com, which is our um, our storefront site so I might um, uh, what I'm going to show you right now it's it's a, it's a bit like better way better than just like using this um, this block for, um, I'm going to show you how to do this kind of map and this is like the rack locations right here and this is from um, batch geo site that I found and it's very easy uh, it's like fast I mean you can do several addresses like really fast so way way better than than using the blocks one the block one um, it's really nice uh, you can actually be interactive I mean it you can actually move it is a, a Google map um, this one right here that they block uh, blocks out first it, it, you can't do much with it you know just zoom in and zoom out that's mainly it you can't drag you can't move it at all you click on it I mean it'll give you whatever content you the body or whatever you do added into the article um, if you click here of course it'll take you um, to that page with the copy and everything on this one uh, if I do, you can actually do searches within the map, which is if I do a valley bargain book, click on that, you can add an, an image on that, and also the URL for valleybargainbook.com. If I click here, it'll take you there, and it just gives you the location of where the rack is at. Now, this image is cut off just because I'm using it on the right rail, which is like 300 in width. I could easily just go back in and just crop this image you know that way it'll fit uh, but let me show you uh, it does work uh, if I go to my test page I've got some setup here the rec locations if I do a search for valley click there and it'll pop up like this you know and if I click here uh, the URL actually takes me to valleybargain.com so let me just show you how I did this. Um, I also added it already uh, on our Year Valley Voice site. Um, this one I, I actually put in some early voting locations for uh, for people who actually want to go out and vote. Um, so all of these are the locations. I added some information right here, like uh, from when to when, and no October the twenty second to the November second, and other stuff like that. And all that can be added through the batch geo site that I found. You'll click here, and it just tells you where the the the, the voting will be. You know, and again, you can actually do searches as well here for Donna or whatever. Um, in order to reset the 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 map, you can usually click right here or just hit refresh here. So you reset it. I think it's pretty neat. That way, uh, people can actually be like playing with this. It's pretty cool. Uh, it's way better than the one that Blocks offers. Let me just show you how I did that. You have to have all your um, addresses and zip codes and phone number or whatnot. Everything. I already have something prepared that I did, which is all my locations for the voting. I got my, my address, city, state, zip code, and name. If you have an uh, image URL somewhere hosted, the www.com, um, whatever, site.com, and here, your, your your image URL, wherever it's hosted, you would paste that in there. I mean, if you wanted to. This one, I don't need that because this is just for voting. 
um, if it would be uh, a business or whatever that you want to add in here um, uh, a map on uh, let's say uh, for the rec locations or whatnot like me um, I could if I would have like you know a pictures of the actual rack I would do that you know I'd probably like upload them to uh, to the RFTP and host them uh, on our site and copy the URL and just paste it over here and that way I'd, I'd have an, a, a picture go along with all of them but I'm not gonna do that it's just I mean maybe the future like one by one or every so often I'll ask maybe the 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 carriers you know to actually take a picture I mean that I, I think that would be neat but not right now so select from here to here the address city zip code state you know everything just copy it go to batch geo <clears throat> click and paste it in here paste Make sure you validate it. Region would be United States. Local address, click there. City would be Alam, was it? Alamo. State, Texas. Zip right there and let's go to the advanced options just click on the title and this would be my title it really shows up here and don't worry if it's cut off uh, and on the map you'll see you see the whole title so right there you I mean if you got an email uh, and the image URL would be here, but um, uh, we could say, I mean, it's not here, so you don't don't worry about it. Like I said, you can add it in uh, before you you bring it over. So and the email as well. Um, so I'll just click Make Map Processing. Processing already. It's finished. So if you want to do any changes, you can. But before you do, you have to save and continue. This is where you'll title it. You can add in the description here. I'm not going to do it. Just do whatever. Uh, make sure you add in um, your email. I'll put, uh, I'm going to put public and I'll, and I'll let you know how come. You can do it unlisted if you'd want, but I wouldn't just because if you, if you click on unlisted, um, a banner ad will show up, um, a Google ad, and that'll be for um, Patch Geo. So we don't want that, unless we we get the uh, the ninety nine dollar plan, which is a monthly uh, charge that they gave you. Uh, and and uh, I haven't checked, but I think that you will you'll you'll be able to you know um, add in your own ads and whatnot. So I'll just put public. And save it. So this is your map. It's all done. It's my map. This is where your description will be. All of this right here, and you can see. My example, where is it? 
which is right here. That's your description right there that you can add. And your value voice, I added more, so you can add all of this. So if I head on over to my email, it should have arrived already. right here edit your map so this is where I can edit it you see easy so this is um, right here by default this is always enabled and this is the advertisement that I was talking about um, if, if it would be unlisted, if you try to disable it, it's not going to let you unless you have to go to the pro. Or you have to add the map as public. So let's do public and disable. And that's it. Um, you save it. You update it, then save. I think, I think all you got to do is update map you update the map it's up to you if you want to uh, render it uh, you know map and data or just map only the ones that I have I put map only because if you leave it at map and data uh, you can do it I, I, I've i seen it it looks pretty good this will pop up all the data will pop up let me just update the map this, so, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Let me just finish processing. And I think it, it would be okay um, if it would be uh, on its own page. That would be fine. And this is set to where it expands 100% uh, the width of where it's at. So you know if it would be on its own page it would be all right cuz then it's going to hang all the way this would be all the way down so but it's not going to work for me um because i've got it in the home page and it's not going to look good if you say it would be here like all my addresses would be down to it would be it would push everything down and I would have a lot of white space here so let me just go back if we go back over here if we go back over here I'm sorry back and we click on map only update it just gotta wait till we finish processing that's done and we click on save and you'll only have the description right here and the map and that's it so this this is better for me. Okay, the way you install this um, Google Map, um, you add it in as an HTML asset, just a regular HTML asset. You embed that. And let me just go easier and show you guys. It's no biggie. So this will be just like a regular asset, but it should be an HTML asset. Head on over here. 
HTML. Paste it in there. That's about it. Uh, you can add your keyword which to whatever you want to add it. Um, and you know you do your block to uh, look for that keyword. And that's it. Alrighty, I guess that's it. Um, this has been Alex Tavares, Interactive Media Administrator here in the Valley Region. And I will talk to you later.